Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Jack with Crichton Chronicles, and uh, today, instead of a Pokemon opening uh, pack opening, since I did two last week, I'm gonna do the uh, what's in the box earlier. And today we're going to uh, take a look at cartographers here. And uh, it's first time trying to use a green screen that I got, and so you can kind of see some of the green filtering through because I don't have a light over here, which is why also over here it's a little bit. You know fuzzy and stuff but I don't know what I'm doing with it anyway I'm trying to learn so I figured I'd just give it a shot and yeah so but we're gonna take a look at cartographers um, from Thunderworks games and uh, this is based in the let me swap over here uh, based in the um, role player world so I was really excited to get this at second hand um, and I have not played it so there's a rule book, so I'm not really sure exactly how to play it. I read it real quick before doing this, and it seems simple. Um, it says up to, well, I don't think there is a player limit, so that's kind of cool. So it can be kind of like a party game, but yeah. So you got the uh, rule book seems, it's got a lot of examples or like further explanations for some of the cards and uh, yeah, so rule book got pads. It's like a uh, draw and write, I guess. I don't know if that's a, how they presented it as, but I thought this was kind of cool because I didn't know this before. You can like name your cartographer, give him a title, and then do like a family crest and everything. I mean, it's small, but I think it's kind of cool. So, and this is the what you'll be drawing on, determining what comes out. Again, I haven't played it, so. This should be a fairly quick what's in the box in a way. Um, but, and then it's double sided as well. So you can also do this back side. And so that's kind of nice for some variety and whatnot. Uh, but you get a, a ton of pads. Uh, so, or a, a ton of uh, maps. But, and then this is it. Like, uh, yeah, you get your, they provide you four pencils. Um, any more beyond that? Gotta supply it yourself, I guess. That's uh, something I read in the book because it says it goes up to one to a hundred people. So does it say one? Can you, is there solo? Yeah, one to a hundred players. Okay, I suppose. So maybe just keep track of high score or something. But uh, yeah, so these are all the, all the cards here. These are the scoring cards, I believe. So they'll give you a, like, there's gonna be, from my understandings, you'll have these laid out, A, B, C, D, and then you'll, so these are the uh, Queen's Decrees or Edicts, I believe. Um, so you'll have those spread out. And then there are four of each different kind of uh, scoring. Um, and then you put those in separate piles. You'll draw one from each of the four tiles and then play them down and... Uh, That'll determine like the scoring for the game, and then there's seasons. This will kind of give you the seasons that go. So you'll start in spring and you just go through the seasons. And in spring, A and B, those edicts are scored. In summer, B and C, then C and D, and then in winter, D and A will be scored. So I don't know. That seems pretty interesting and should offer quite a bit of variety. Um, with there being, and I'm assuming, I know there's an expansion, I think, or there's one coming out, I'm not sure, but it should be easy to add even more scoring. Um, and like I said, there's four in each category of the four categories, and so they're randomized, put one out. And um, yeah, so that's them. And go through some of these here. These are just the scoring, like, Earn one reputation star for each forest space adjacent to the edge of the map. So all these are uh, adjacent to the edge of the map. So yeah, there's a, just a ton of different uh, scoring uh, cards. And then, oh yeah. And like I said, in the book it looked like they uh, have them explained a little bit more. This is actually cool. I didn't know this came with this, but it's a cartographer um, for a role player, it's a backstory. So, this is awesome. I'm gonna put that. I we have all the role player, uh, the base game and expansions. So, I'm excited. Actually, 
probably most excited for this because I just love role player because I haven't played this yet. But hopefully it's it's fun. Like it, I feel like it it seems simple. So um, and then these are the explorer cards that will come out. And I don't know much. I just know that it said when you play a ruins, you put another card over it. And when you play a card, each player will get to pick one of these terrain types. And then a shape if there's a variety. Some of them have a variety of shapes too. Um, so just kind of depends. But So you'll be able to pick one of those. You'll pick this shape. That's the shape that you'll draw on your map. And you'll fill it in with that design of the terrain, so the waves or the house for the village or whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, a few more. There's a ton. This up here it helps you determine, from my understandings, like the seasons. So um, I don't know where exactly. Oh, it's listed here. So like spring has. Uh, eight timer so it's like a sand timer icon so as you're going and you're laying these out the explore cards to um to uh write draw on your map you'll add these up and if they meet or exceed that the season changes over you'll score whatever edicts um and then you'll go to the next season and continue on um the one thing was with the ruins uh, you keep going, it sounds like, until you get an actual explore without a ruins. And then on the map, it's kind of hard to see, but there's some ruin spaces here. So that just means that when you do this uh, four uh, box uh, row here and you put it on here, you want to, or you have to, one of those spaces has to cover ruins if it came out and landed on top of the ruin. So, uh, so that's... A little variant there that with these coming out it kind of restricts where you can place it um, and if you can't there's a bunch of different things where like you can't put it on the mountain or anything but if you surround a mountain on all four adjacent sides you get a gold coin or um, I guess it said that there were shapes in here that if you do this shape you would get a coin if you choose this rather than this um, but obviously it seems like you only get one terrain type you can choose from I wonder if there's a double this is any terrain in just one square it's cool. So it doesn't seem like there's double terrain and double shape. It's either one or the other. So you either get two of the terrain that you can pick from and one shape or vice versa. So, But there's a lot of different shapes and terrain combinations and everything to draw on your map. And again, all that determines uh, the score at the end, like depending on what is going to be scored. Uh, so that's what you want to be watching for when you're doing your map. So, And then these were uh, ambush cards, I think. So when it happens, you, you pass your map in the clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on what it depicts. And then you make this monster icon in this shape. Uh, so yeah, you do a shape like this on your opponent's map, and then you put the monster icon in it, you draw it in. And so that must just be a way to block them or just mess with their maps and stuff. So I, was, I thought that was kind of interesting. So there's a, actually, it sounds like there's a bit of potential player interaction. Um, so, but I think only one of these gets put in. And so it's still really limited, but I thought it was kind of a cool little thing. And that's something they could expand on too. So maybe you use all of them. I just remember it said put one inside the Explore deck. So, um, but yeah, that was... Uh, that's pretty much it. That's all the cards. And uh, so I was really excited to get this game. Um, I just got it uh, this weekend or last week or late last week. But uh, swap over here. And yeah, so I'm hoping to try that out soon. Like I said, I, like, I was kind of excited about this because it uh, goes to the role player game. And um, yeah, it'd just be kind of cool. It seems like a light game, and it's in that world, and I kind of like to try to support Thunderworks games, even though there was one, I don't know if it was like a tabletop-ish, or I don't know. I just It was really expensive, and I just didn't really know about it, so maybe when it comes out and I hear more about it, I'll get in on that. But So, yeah, got some cartographers uh, from Thunderworks games, and again, if you played this, let me know what you think of it below. Um, I just I feel like it's simple. It's a smaller box. You can bring it around, and it goes up to 100 players, so it can be like a party game. Um, so yeah, 
Um, I don't know. I'm excited about it, so let me know what you thought about it. And if you haven't, if uh, what you see, I know I didn't really know exactly how to play, but I kind of gave like a little brief what I read through the quickly through the instruction book. It's only like eight pages or something, so it's not too bad. But um, yeah. So, all right. Uh, hopefully the background is okay. Sometimes it can reflect off, and <laughs> I don't know, but it seems to be going okay. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think about that too below if you want. And uh, yeah. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. Until next time, take care.